So welcome back. We are now going to be installing GAM ADV XDD3 using the Google Cloud shell. And there's a couple of reasons why you might wanna do this. One of the main reasons is if you want to have a centralized point for all of your staff to be able to use it, um, rather than a local machine or a local server. And obviously you can get into the Cloud shell from anywhere in the world. To be honest, of all the clients that we've got, only about 1% of our clients actually use this. Um, but for completeness sake, that's why I'm doing this. So in your resources, you'll see this link to shell.cloud.google.com. And if I push enter on it, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so now that I've logged in, it asked me for a couple of things. You may or may not get this, depending on whether or not you've logged into this before. It's gonna start provisioning your Cloud Shell machine. Now with Google, you get a couple of um, instances of this for free. Um, I think it's a five gigabytes uh, storage and it's not the strongest VM, but it is quite good. Anyway, so I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. Okay, and so we are now logged in and we're with Michael at Cloud Shell and let's now go here. On the wiki for GAM ADV XD3 and under the downloads page, you have this command, which will obviously be in your resources as well. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna paste this in. Push enter. Okay, so what it's actually saying is, can you run a full browser on your machine? Usually yes for Mac OS or no for Linux. So we actually can't actually on this machine. So I'm gonna say um, no for here and push enter. Okay, so it says GAM is now installed. Are you ready to set up the Google API project? So I'm gonna say yes. And please enter your Google Workspace admin email. So I'm gonna say admin at taming G suite.com and push enter. Okay, so it now says that it's created all these things. It's created this GAM, this GAM cache. It's created the downloads folder and it's initialized the GAM config folder. But it's saying that you can't find these other things. You can't find the JSON here. It can't find this, you can't find that. Go to the following link in your browser. So if we're gonna go and click on this, it wants us to sign in as the admin. So I'm gonna push next, sign in with this. Okay, and then I'm gonna say push allow. It's gonna ask me to copy this and paste that back in here. And push enter. So now it's creating the APIs that we're gonna give permission for just now. Now, as you'll notice, it's maybe not as fast as your local machine. Um, this is not the most powerful VM that you can get, but once you start running commands, it is quite nice to have something as a central location. Okay, so it's saying here, we need to go to this link um, so that we can actually add this. So if we click on that link, okay. back over here, it says you're gonna do the desktop app, then GAM for the desired name or anything else you wanna do, and then click the blue create button. So I'm gonna say desktop app, and I'm going to say GAM Cloud Shell, and I'm gonna say create. And here we've got the OAuth has been created. So I'm gonna copy the client ID there. Paste that in, push enter. Now it's looking at the client secret. Copy on that. Paste that in, push enter. And it now says that the project is now complete. Are you ready to authorize your GAM to perform Google Workspace Management? I'm gonna say yes. And these are all the APIs that we were creating earlier. So all of these got little stars next to them and that means that they are enabled or they will be enabled. And the ones that don't have a star next to them means that they won't. So if you need these or reseller APIs, then please make sure that you go over here and select, select all scopes or unselect all scopes. Um, or if you just wanna have um, 37, you would just type 37 in the bottom here. But I'm just going to click over here and say continue. And it says now go to this link and click on that. These are all the API scopes that you are looking at that we've just selected. I'm gonna push allow. And we're gonna copy this and go back here. Paste, click into that. It now says that the admin authorization has been completed and you see it's created this OAuth text file. Now we're gonna ready to authorize GAM to manage the Google Workspace user and data. I'm gonna say yes, push enter. Enter the email address of a regular Workspace user. So I'm just gonna say Michael at tamingg suite.com. 
push enter. And the first time this is runs, everything will fail. Okay, so the first couple pass, uh, that's just saying that my time is right, but all these other things fail. And saying that the reason why it's failed is because you aren't authorized to do that. So we're gonna click on this little link. I'm gonna say authorize over here, go back here. Are you ready to authorize, yes or no? I'm gonna say yes. And it's gonna run the exact same commands again, and this time everything should pass. Perfect, look at that, okay. Now, if you're looking to do global variables in terms of being able to run the GAM commands from anywhere, then what I would suggest is go and look at the Ubuntu video about how to actually set up Ubuntu paths and things like that. But anyway, we now need to actually see that this runs. So it says here, please restart your terminal and we can get run. So let's copy that. And let's say paste. This is just gonna restart well, it would if I actually spelt that correctly. Alias. Okay, there we go. That's restarted the terminal. So now that we've restarted the terminal, we're going to test that this actually works. So gam info domain, and you'll see that it's actually happened. Okay, so it says that this is the domain that we are connected to. This is when the domain was created. And this is the organization name and the secondary email address. So now that you've got that set up, you can now use this for your particular GAM commands that you're going to be doing and actually work from there. If you do have any questions about this, please leave them in the Q&A section. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.